It's that time of year again. Halloween is back and I'm back with our usual Halloween reviews in the month of October, or like we like to call it, Yumptober. This time we are taking a look at the 1987 Canadian horror film, The Gate. The main plot of the movie centers around three kids, Glenn the main character of the story, his sister Alexandra or Al, and his best friend Terry. Glenn and Terry find a large geode that was uncovered after a tree struck by lightning in his backyard was removed. While getting it, a small amount of blood is left by Glenn due to a splinter in his finger. The kid's parents then decided to leave for a few days, leaving Al in charge. This is where the movie picks up more. During the party, the geode is broken by Glenn and Terry and it leaves incantations on a notebook that was on it. They of course read from it and this sets off a whole change of crazy events. From Terry seeing his dead mother, hugging her and then finding out it was actually the family dog Angus who had died, parents coming back as zombies, as well as weird looking demons. Now, the way the demons look is really creepy, but it's also really cool the way they have them move, as I think they use classic stop motion with the puppets to move. These guys are pretty hilarious and do have some comedic things they do throughout the movie, but they're also terrifying as well. And to top that off, the movie just keeps getting stranger and stranger. There's a demon that is larger than all the little demons that comes up and actually puts an eye inside Glenn's hand that looks around. There's also a part in the movie that's pretty creepy and strange is when Terry is listening to a heavy metal band that released an album called Dark Book, which has like lyrics explaining what the gate is. Now, the way you listen to the lyrics, Terry actually performs them for you, which to me has always stood out ever since I was a kid because it looks so creepy and weird. The scene I thought was done very well, but it's just the effect it leaves on you is kind of like either should I take this seriously or it's just downright strange. The Gate was one of the first movies I remember watching as a kid, and it's always stuck with me due to the characters that are brought up as far as Terry, the creatures that are shown, the eye and the hand. It had so much craziness, like how could you forgive it? The movie had some low budget standards for back then, but even lower for today. However, it does have a cult following. So much so that there's actually talks of a Gate remake being discussed for some time in the future. But... If you want to check out the original core classic, and if you're into weird horror movies, you can't go wrong with The Gate. And as always, thank you so much for watching and checking me out, and have a great rest of your day.